Okay. So we are talking about um, programming and pairing the Brel 25 millimeter center tilt and lift motor. It should be the same for the end motor. Um, this is the BJE 24D 0 0.8 model and the CR, I'm sorry, it's the DD 2700H, which is just a single channel, but this should be the same for all of the remote controls. Uh, one thing that I noticed that I think is critical is the instructions that came with the remote control for some reason to me seem to be pretty much useless. Um, I haven't tried this with all the remotes yet, so maybe it comes into play with some of the others, but it's very vague and I think is really only good for explaining how to change from mono to bi-directional. Other than that, I learned to put that aside and use the manual that actually comes in the box with the motor. This one is accurate, a little cryptic and difficult, but it's still the one that got this to work. So I'm just gonna start by completely resetting the memory on the motor. And you do that by hitting the reset button that's right here. They also call it the P1 button. And that's right where the cables come out of the motor. I've got the motor plugged in to a source so that the computer can actually kick out the information. I'd like to use just a paper clip, but of course anything that works. Do not push down too hard. It's just gonna be a light push. And to do a factory reset, you will see on page five that you do that by holding down P1 for 14 seconds until you get four jogs of the motor. So we're gonna start by doing a factory reset to make sure everything's completely clean from zero. One, two, and I'm holding it down. I'm not lifting this up. Three, four. Technically, my motor now has no memory or programming in it. The next thing to do, of course, is program your or pair your remote control. So to do that, we're gonna go to step one then in the direction on page two. And it's simple, you're gonna hold down P1 until you get a jog, and then you're gonna hold down stop until you get two jogs, and then your remote control is paired. So hold it down, one jog, stop button, one jog, two jogs, your remote is paired. Notice I was holding down the stop button, I did not release it, so keep it depressed until you get your second jog. Now your remote is paired to your motor, so you can set the limits. Um, there is one step in between if you want to change the motor direction, if you want it to roll off the back or the front, uh, but we're going to skip that because that's a very simple instruction that you can see in the manual. Next is going to be setting your limits. I usually start with my upper limit. Key here, and this took me some time to figure out, when you first get this paired and you go to try to operate it, it's going to feel like it's in jog mode. I mean, it is jog mode. And this threw me off for a while until I figured out you have to hold the button down until the motor starts to travel normally. So I'm holding up, I got that jog, then it finally starts to move. I was holding down until it started to move. The shade's now going up to your upper limit wherever you want it. I'm not holding any buttons now. Stop it where I want it, and then up and stop together, depressed, until you get two jogs. There's my upper limit. Now we're gonna do the lower limit. I'm gonna hit, and this is gonna feel like the jog again, so press through it until it starts to travel. Holding it down, continue to hold it. Now it's traveling down. You don't have to hold it once it starts to move. You can take your finger off the controller. We're just traveling to our down position. While, it's, while that's doing that, let me just explain. You should do these steps within 10 seconds of each other. All right, I'm where I want it down. Hold down and stop, two jogs. Now I have my lower limit. I'm not gonna go into setting a third limit or some of the other things because it's pretty clear in this manual, but now you can see, you press up, that motor's gonna travel to its upper limit. I went it pretty long on that while we were talking, but. <laughs> There's your upper limit. Now let's drop the shade to close it. Mm 
Again, I'm not touching the controller. It's going to stop at that limit. And there's your lower limit. Again, you can do a third limit in between if you wanted a center limit. Um, it does cover how to delete the limits. There's some other things that you can do with it too. Pulse and jog, for example, if you want to do that. Um, but that's basically how to get this set up, paired, and your limit set uh, with the 25 millimeter center tilt and lift motor for the Vaco 2004 Roman Shade system.